Well, students, welcome to the course on Introduction to Numerical Analysis. The course number is SI507. This is an introductory lecture where I will tell you what is the syllabus that we are going to cover in this course. We have around eight topics to be covered in this course. After a quick review of mathematical preliminaries, we first get into the topic called errors where we will talk about principles of floating point computation and rounding errors. We will also learn what all the types of error that we come across when we are developing numerical methods and how to handle these errors. Then we will start our actual numerical methods with linear systems where we will see two types of methods. One is called the direct method and the other is called the iterative method for solving linear systems. Mostly the direct methods are introduced in your linear algebra course like Gaussian elimination method and LU factorization method. We will review these methods quickly with little more depth from the numerical point of view and then we will go on with iterative methods which are Basically, Jacobi method, Gauss-Seidel method, and conjugate gradient method. We will also learn how to compute eigenvalues for a given matrix. Most precisely, we will see how to compute dominant eigenvalue using power method. Then we will pass on to nonlinear equations where we will introduce several methods to approximate a root of a nonlinear equation like bisection method, fixed point iteration method, secant method, and more importantly, Newton's method. We will also try to cover nonlinear systems where we will try to learn unconstrained optimization problems if time permits. Then we will take up an important topic in numerical analysis called the interpolations, where we will learn Lagrange interpolations and Newton's interpolation methods. We will also see the piecewise version of these interpolations. And finally, we will also cover a more advanced method called spline methods, in which we will in particular cover only cubic splines. We will also learn how to study their error estimates. And if time permits, we will also talk about uniform approximations of polynomials, data fitting, and least square approximation. Then we will pass on to some calculus topics like numerical integration and numerical differentiation. And finally, we will learn how to compute solutions of ordinary differential equations, especially initial value problems using Euler method and runge kutta method. If time permits, we will also learn stability and convergence analysis. We will also spend some time on two-point boundary value problems. Especially, we will study some finite difference method with their convergence result. These are the utmost topics that we are going to cover in this course. At the end of this course, I hope the students will be familiar with developing numerical methods that can be implemented on a computer. And also, I hope that the students will learn and have some experience on how to do error analysis of these methods. Although implementation of these methods play an important role in the subject, because of the time constraints, we will not be concentrating on implementation part. It's only the development of the methods and their analysis will be covered in this course. As far as the references are concerned, well, we have our own study material. I and my colleague, Professor Shivaji Ganesh, have developed this material. I'll be providing this material to students time to time as and when I cover the topics. Apart from this material, you can also consult many standard books, especially when we were making the study material, we mainly used the books listed here, that is Atkinson's Introduction to Numerical Analysis, the famous book by Conte and De Boer, and also the book by Kincaid and Cheney will be helpful for you to understand the subject to an advanced level. 
However, from the examination point of view, it is enough for you to stick with the study material that I will be providing to you time to time.